Let's take a look at financial markets as the results of the referendum were absorbed around the world. Shares began to fall in Asia, the markets first to react and safe haven uh, currencies like the Japanese yen are on the rise. Let's go to our Asia business hub in Singapore and join Mariko Oi. Nice to see you, Mariko. So talk us through the reaction. Well, Sally, the reaction in Asian markets hasn't been as bad as we expected, I have to say. Uh, they all opened lower, but there has been uh, no panic, so to say. Uh, they're all down between 1% to 2%. Uh, investors have been telling us that uh, the markets have practically priced in Grexit or Greece exiting the Eurozone. What's not priced in is the, how that would affect the rest of uh, the European economies and, of course, the single currency. Uh, the Euro, which was a down sharply against the US dollar in early Asian morning trade. It's now recovering some of the earlier losses, but against the Japanese yen, which as you say is a safe haven currency, uh, according to some investors, uh, it's uh, the euro is down about six, uh, it's hitting about the, the lowest level in about six weeks against the, uh, against the Japanese yen. Oh. One of the reasons Asia is not having such a bad day is because of steps taken in China to help the Chinese market. That's right. Over the weekend, the Chinese government has announced a slew of measures to support the stock market, which fell about 30% in the last three weeks. I should mention that the value is still about more than doubled uh, compared to uh, 12 months ago. Uh, but nevertheless, there has been some panic among local investors and Beijing stepped in. Uh, Shanghai market uh, opened very much higher, up about 8%. At the moment, uh, they're up about 2%. And as you you say this has been having some impact on Asian markets but there have been quite a lot of criticism from international investors as well on Beijing's move uh, because they say that uh, it risks an embarrassing setback to uh, the country's push to internationalize its financial system. All right thank you very much Mariko Oi who is in Singapore for us just to say of course there is plenty of analysis on our website do take a look you can follow uh, the likes of Robert Peston, Joe Lyon and myself on Twitter and our team in Asia will keep you right across any developments and the European Trading Day Adnan will start at 8 o'clock London time.